clarity of the ring final circuit. We have another circuit to consume unit now, so that needs to also be proved for continuity of CPC and polarity before we move on to, in this case, insulation resistance with only two circuits in the distribution board. We've linked as previously done in lighting circuits, the line conductor under test and the earth bar. So we get the line and CPC connected together. And we're gonna to go to the actual fuse connection unit and then to the furthest point of the radial circuit achieving the highest reading that we recorded on our test paperwork under R1 plus R2. On completion of the test, we will also be able to do our polarity tick. So we go to the fuse connection unit. I've already removed some of the paint in the back of the box. I'm interested in the exposed conductive part being connected to the CPC. So I'm going on to the exposed conductive part of the back and on to my incoming line conductor. Alec, have I got a reading? 0 0.02. 0 0.02 ohms. I now go to my furthest point and I'm going to test between the metal back box here, the exposed conductive part and the line terminal here. So I'm going to go in, connect onto the metal at the back and the line terminal. This time I've got a reading of 0.06. That would be the reading I would record as continuity of CPC under the box heading R1 plus R2. Complete the polarity test. I need to remove the fuse and retest to prove the circuit is now open circuit. I now have an open circuit and complete the polarity test for that part of the circuit.